you know, quite often here on YouTube, I always talk about making right decisions. Whether you're making a right decision in life, a right decision with a woman or a man, or a right decision for your people. And I always say, you know, time and time after again, be very mindful of the people that you choose to have a child with. That's male or female. Now, you know, I was sitting back. I read something on um, Adrian Peterson. If you guys don't know who he is, he's a professional football player. And recently, the mother that had his two-year-old son had a boyfriend that beat the kid. Put the kid in the hospital. He was in, uh, cr uh, excuse me, critical condition. And I just found out that the two-year-old boy died. Now, when I heard this, you know, my heart dropped, man. Because, you know, I, I feel for that brother. I can't imagine you got a two-year-old son that you love and care about. And your son is in the custody of the baby mother, however you want to call it. And she allows a man to come into her house and put his hands on her son. And, you know, going back to when I talk about making right decisions about the people you uh, have a child with, you have to think about, what if our relationship doesn't work out? A lot of times as adults, you know, people grow apart. You could be married 10, 15 years, and sometimes, you know, things happen, whether it's infidelity or, you know, you guys just grow apart. You have to be comfortable, whether you like that woman or like that man. You have to be comfortable and secure that, okay, even if I don't like that woman, she's a good mother. I can trust her making wise decisions and doing the right things with my son or daughter in her custody. Because a good 85% of the time, the mother's going to have full custody or the majority of the custody of the child if you guys separate. And, you know, it's, just, it's sad that we have women today that allow... Men that they really don't know or men that, you know, are, are in their life for a brief period and they allow them to come around their children, interact with their children. They, they allow their children to get comfortable with certain men that might not be around that long. And, you know, I've said in previous videos myself, you know, if I'm dating a woman or, you know, um, you know, I, I don't I don't do this often anymore because. Uh, you know, just me growing up and being more cautious about my decision. But if I'm just messing around and having sex with a woman or, you know, we're just dating or whatever, I don't want to meet your kids because I don't know if we're going to have a long-term relationship, whether it's friendship or whether we're dating or whatever. I don't know this. So I don't want to meet your kids. I don't want them to call me uncle or nothing like that. I don't want uh, to be going on family trips with you. I don't want to be having, uh, you know, all these family bonding um, activity, I don't want to do that because if I'm not sure about the position you're going to play into my life or the position I'm going to play into your life, I don't want to be involved with that. I don't want to become attached to your children. Your children become attached to me and then we don't work out and then now you have this big problem and now you have to explain to um, your child or your children, hey, um, I'm not talking to uncle such and such anymore or you have to go about it in, in, in a childlike way and explain to them why such and such won't be coming around anymore. And then looking at it from uh, the, the, the male's point of view. A lot of times, especially within the black community, we have a lot of single mothers out here. So, a lot of these children are looking for that, 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 that father figure. Somebody that can come in, you know, go play catch with the boy, take him to the movies, teach him how to be a man. A lot of these children need that. So, when you bring men in and out of these kids' life, you're giving off the wrong message to that child. You're giving off, if you have a, a, a young daughter, you're giving off the impression that it's okay to have men in and out of your house or in and, in and out of your, uh, uh, your kid's um, life. If you have a son, you're giving off the impression that men come and go. Or it's cool to get involved with a woman that you might not be serious with and just bounce whenever things don't work out. And that's why I don't put myself into that type of position. But, you know, my prayers go out to this brother because this is a sad situation. You know, uh, like I said, you know, I can't imagine how the brother feel right now. You know, um, I don't have kids right now. And, you know, if this had been my child, you know, I'm going to keep it real. 
little baby daddy or whatever, or her little boyfriend, he definitely will be meeting me and Mr. Heat. Because, you know, this, this is ridiculous. And I, I find this to be extremely terrible and bad judgment on the mother's uh, point of view. Now, I understand that, you know, she's dealing with the loss and, you know, it was both of their child and everything. You know, I understand it, but at the same time, you have to make wise decisions when you when you bring people into your children's life. Everybody that look right is not right. You got cats out here that that's touching little boy. Even though the women, you didn't used to hear about the women doing. Now you got women out here. It was a a, a fat polar bear looking white chick the other day on the news. That was that was uh they they call her touching kids at the daycare. So, you know, th this is universal. It's not just with the men, you know, anymore being perverts. You have a lot of trifling, perverted women out here now. And you just have to be careful, you know, with everybody. You know, and, and, if, and if I get a bad vibe for you or my child is very uh, leery about you, because a lot of times children can pick up things that sometimes adults don't pick up. And my child gets a certain vibe about you or don't want to be around you or whatever, I'm not bringing my child around you. I'm not going to even, you know, uh take the chance from the beginning of bringing my child around somebody that I don't fully know who they are. But again, you know, my prayers go out to, um, you know, Adrian Peterson and his family. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it's sad, you know. It's sad to hear stories like this. You know, that young boy didn't even have a, a chance to live life. Two years old. But, yeah, I'm out, man.